so easy, like um, milking time, comfort, order placement, cluster movers, 24 units, one man mention, and he's on no bother. The auto ID, the rapid exits, you know, drafting, everything is such a massive advantage compared to um, the old Palo. The old Palo was, was probably a good Palo at that time, but when you think of it now, like definitely massive change in Palo, well worth its money, definitely. Definitely will free up time. An hour and a half with milk the cows and wash up and the whole lot versus two and a half hours. The difference is unreal. A minute and eight seconds now, or even less, to load 24 cows. It's easier on the man as well. You press a button there to draft the cow. Feeding the yield is fed all by computer. Cluster removers, unreal, to say the least. You're not over milking cows either. So it's all time saving. When we started with the milk manager program and all the software, it was definitely a big advantage being able to set up drafting, you know, diverting the milk, all that kind of stuff. Um, the feed yield then, like, it was very simple to use. Like, you pretty much just enter in what you want to set your base yield at, whatever you want to give kilo-wise over every litre then of what the base yield is. Why should a cow the stone 45, 50 litres be getting the same as a heifer the stone 25 and stuff? So that's why we decided to go with the feed yield. We've definitely noticed a big change in milk yield this year. Um, the average yield per cow is up uh, about three litres. The big advantage is you're actually feeding the cows that are producing the milk. And you can see it in body condition score and you can see it in milk yield as well. You're getting more out of what you're putting in. We'll be up about three to, four, uh, three to four litres on last year. At the moment, um, our repeats and the cows are down in ice compared to last year. So we're definitely thinking that the feed yield definitely is helping that way, that the higher yielding cows are not losing body condition and are better conditioned for going back in calving. The Swift Law Commander tells you cow milking time, her number, what group she's in. If you had, say, spring calve, martin calve, you could do two different herds. You could put your first time calves in a different group, like gives you their yields. Um, you can also do drafting. You can do extra feeding from the commanders, so in fairness there's an awful lot to do from the Swift Law Commanders. If we're going to increase in cow numbers now and everything, like there's a lot more work to do, a lot more fertilizer top and everything like. The milk manager definitely helps big saving money-wise, feeds being allocated properly. This is a massive change.